Hello, I'm Dr. Advocates James PCs, and I'm Dr. Robert Advocate for your health. health. Oh. Frontal lobe. And this is your weekly reminder that t scientifically we might be the same person. <laughs> So we've been in the lab hmm. a lot recently, hmm. thinking about hmm. history. Yeah, science isn't just all about the future. Science isn't about it's now. About, it's about Carry the just on. now and the past. Yeah, I said it wasn't about now. But it is just Oh, about it's about now. now and the past. Now, uh, what the kind of science we're really interested in is beauty. What makes people beautiful? Yeah, and we have come across some old contraptions that we think we might be able to benefit from today. Yes, we have invented a time machine. We didn't want to tell anyone. So we have gone back and actually got some of these contraptions. But don't make a big deal The original, don't, don't tell anyone. It's between us. We don't want this to go completely viral. So we're gonna try some of these beauty contraptions out and see if they make us beautiful. I look like Sandra D. Yes, Ooh, you do. can me, there has to be. Hmm, the first thing I would want if I was back in the days was, would be dimples. I'm trying to make them. Do I do like dimples, but have you seen that dimple surgery? It's, it's just two holes. Yeah, it's not. It's not correct. Maybe if they were just circles, <laughs> they're a, they're a bit big. Okay. Well, this we saw this device. It's simple now to have those charming dimples. All you have to do is apply this dimple machine. How would this happen? It would just push. <laughs> what I think this dimple machine is, is it's supposed to train your skin to go in in a certain way. So almost mm. like you're training muscles or maybe like the idea of face yoga. Maybe the idea is that when we look at the patent here, the patented design, yeah. I think the idea is that it pushes in your skin and with consistent it use you have permanent ring uh, dimples. It's like a pair of glasses, but for your face. See, I don't think it's gonna make a lasting impression. I feel like that will just give you like really irritated skin. I mean, in that area. yeah. T today we are just gonna be using it once, but I think even with con we've seen throughout history that it didn't work because it just that's not how your skin works. It doesn't exist now, does it? Okay. It was invited. Invited. It was invited into life in, in 1921 21. by Miss Evangeline Gilbert of Rochester. Does she have dimples? Even she yeah, does. She does. I, I would argue that they're probably natural. She was probably her whole life like, oh my, you are beautiful with your dimples. Oh my, what's her name? Evangeline. Oh my, Evangeline is lost child. What shall I do to have those dimples? And she was like, that's a twelve-year-old talking mm. back in that time. So yeah, but shit, like, Rothschild, that's like a, back a in the, thingy. So how old so is America? Be like, Ew. America's only like 10 years old. So it's they're probably just like, yeah, so like, what's that, like 10? She probably has a transatlantic accent. Yeah, ooh. Why, Ginny, you've always had lovely dimples. Ooh. Wow, Evangeline, yeah. you've always had lovely dimples. Ooh. It's quite simple, really. That's Let a heart me... in my throat, and I'm not even doing it. <laughs> Let me show you how I achieve this look. Oh. With my new patented dimple maker. Windows are <laughs> Put this around your ear simply. Put that around your ear simply. Oh, if you have a side around your ear, but simply. It's quite simple, really. <laughs> Why, Miss Angela Vanellis, this looks like a great item. I can see those dimples forming already. I actually you shall be married. <laughs> you shall be married, Joan, for next season. Let's remove the device and see how well it's worked. Wow, Miss Angelise the Rothschild, Gilbert of Rochester in New York. I love the way they look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this will be good. This will go down forever in history as the best device. I can't. I can't fucking stand it. You're terrible at time traveling. I mean, I think it's an interesting idea. I think back in the day that a lot of these devices look very torturous. They do, and it's like. It's like, wear this metal rod in your face and, and then just push it into a plug mm, socket. Mm, mm. I think if this um, historically accurate science time yeah. travel video has taught us anything, is that, that that didn't work. Yeah, I don't think and it And I don't really think works. it will work. And actually, if you think about it, she was a scam artist. Put that on her grave. Dimple Make Accessory 1936. So she was in business for a oh, while. Wow. Miss Evangeline Gilbert of Rochester, New York, wearing an accessory, that's her, an accessory that when worn over the cheeks for a long period of time, claimed, claimed, 
to create dimples. I don't think it's that simple. Can you imagine if I just sat around pushing my chin in all day? My chin would be Well, small. have you seen those nose devices where they, they yeah, make to slim your don't. nose? It's, like, it's, it's your not going to change your bone. It's not going to move, is it? Maybe she really thought it would work. Like, I, let's be real. It wasn't that advanced back then. Like, things like, you know, cosmetic things. Maybe yeah, I don't think a lot of people knew things. Maybe she, she thought it actually worked. Wasn't this back in the day where they all um, had Coke with ketamine in? So how, how many science is that for you? I'm gonna give that a two of science because it's not really. I think it's it? a nice idea. In, in um, a ideal world, this is very infamous: the beauty measurer mm -hmm. by Mac Maximor Factor, Maximilian Factor, and he'll go on to become Max Maybelline, and he um, invented the Kinder Surprise. Never cease. The, the latest is a machine which catalogues exactly those good looks or bad ones of Reducing Eve. Beauty to a decimal point. A new machine invented by Max Factor, Hollywood's makeup genius, turns the face of your favorite actress into an intricate column of figures. The lady in the what? perforated diver's helmet is none other than Dorothy Wilson, movie star, who is said to be 99.64382% perfect. It looks as though measuring beauty will be as hard as making out an income tax report. I actually think this is a really clever idea because with these measurements, right, he was able to do makeup in a particular way to make the face look more even, right? Yeah, it measures like the highs and lows of mm. your face, basically. So I don't know what these nodules are doing if they're any kind of measurement. It would be like, oh, your brow should be like within these lines. And basically something you can do with your own brain. Mm, do you know what I mean? Just by looking. Just by looking. Mm. I don't know how they score that. I wonder what came after this. Did anything come after this or was, or was this literally Facebook. just- Facebook. A pseudo-scientific approach to analysing a woman's facial flaws. Maybe he set the pins, the dials, to like the perfect thing. Well, and then he would loosen them as it got to her face and be like, oh, that should really be a bit but lower. But wasn't the idea that like, say like this cheek is puffier than this cheek. So what he would then do is use makeup on the more sullen cheek to make it look more plump. Yeah, so maybe. So lined up. Yeah, maybe. And the screws just... holding the strips in place allow for 325 adjustments, enabling the operators to make fine maybe. measurements with a precision of one thousandth of an inch. But why? What would they do? But make then their eyes what? further apart? Exactly. What well, then what? Now what? It's like changing your eyes are too far apart. Okay, now what? So we've done this now. Put what? white here and it, they'll look. You have a beautiful face, but your nose. <laughs> this is a they put like herbs in it and you sniff it for the plague. No, <laughs> look at that before and after. That is false advertising. Because they physically brought the nose forward. Advertising standards obviously weren't um invented back then. Can well, you imagine being able to just draw your claims? Did you think for a minute that that was a picture? No, I'm just saying that's a drawing, oh, okay. right? Like, imagine I was like on doing diet supplements and I drew my figure and then d d did a stick figure. I was like, see? Yeah. You so know what I mean? in this day and age, attention to your appearance is an absolute necessary if you expect to make the most out of life. Not only should you wish to appear as attractive as possible for your own self-satisfaction, which is alone well worth your efforts, but you will find the world in general judging you greatly, if not wholly. People really love saying things, they? do, they? Don't by really your looks. Permit no one to see you looking otherwise. You don't have to read the whole thing. Corrects now 111 shaped noses. This is by M. Tri Trillitly. Tri Trillity. Face specialist. Hello. Okay, well, back into our time machine. Ooh. Ooh. Our nose is going to fit perfectly into this shape here. Please, would you do me the honors? Okay, it goes under the ear. It's actually very comfortable. I feel like I'm in prison in a Tudor times. Yeah, you look like that. It's really nice because you can see the oil from your nose pressing against the white. That's not correct. How's it feel? It's actually very comfortable. You look really different. My nose fits very well. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it's actually not that far off my nose profile. The good thing about this is we do have some breathing, breathing space here and here. 1918. <gasps> Improve the shape of the nose by remolding the cartilage and fleshly parts. Oh, fleshy parts. Safely and painlessly. It was also promoted as an, as an inexpensive alternative. Do they have nose jobs back in those days? Maybe. Depend on your own diligence in applying treatment. To leave off wearing it a single day means that you will be obliged to continue the treatment longer. That's because he knew no one's no gonna one's fucking gonna wear, wear this. No one has time day. to wear this every no single day. No one has time to do this every single day. Should we take it off and Cheats. see yeah. the results? Are you excited? I am, yeah. Well, well let's see the results. Thank you, Ashton. I'm so excited. This is gonna look really different. I'm so excited for you. <gasps> it's tiny. 
it's really, really changed. How do you feel? I feel like you're probably getting really close and it's going to be loads of pores. It's going to be horrible. Does it feel different? No, it feels so comfortable. Okay. Well, should we go forward in time? Yes. Yeah. This machine we've actually seen in person. Did we? Yeah, this is in that, um, um, what's that place? So it's a 1920s hair perming machine. This was actually really dangerous though. It looks like you're just hooking yourself up to die. That was pretty much it. Mm. It's like alien, like you've been abducted and they're like, we're gonna give you a fucking perm. Yeah. There's a guy called Carl Nestler who is kind of credited for the first kind of chemical perming solution. Oh. And he would like perm the hair around metal rods. It was Ooh. like a bit more of like a DIY version of this huge machine. Like an machine. at home brow kit. <laughs> correct, no, but correct. So this first on his wife and he burnt all her hair off. Disgusting man. Horrible man. So it was actually Marjorie Sojournal who so invented genre. this first patented design. This hell machine? This one. Marge. And it was kind of improved on Nessa's perming idea. Okay. But more of like a, a t permanent kind of type of thing. All right. You can see on, on this picture, we don't really know technically how good it was. I'm, I'm terrified of it, actually. I think that yeah. looks really, it's just metal everywhere on bare flesh. There's something on here called atomic cord absorbers. We, and we use, that's quite powerful. That's what we use in our time machine. Mm. Was this the time period where everyone was obsessed with like atomic power? That's no. one of my favorite time periods. Yeah, I know. It's like, we don't even know we're being poisoned. So we do have this. No, we don't. <laughs> Would you, if, if you had to go back in time mm. and someone's like, oh, do you want a hair perm? Would you sit under this? Now, now, no, not even back in time nowadays. No, why would I do that? What, if somebody invented this now, now with the technology yeah. we have now? I just don't like the idea of something attached to me that's also attached to the mains. I think it's fucking stupid. I don't understand where her actual hair is. In the, in the coils. Don't like it. Have you ever dreamed of the curves of youth? Would you like to have a more youthful chin? Okay. Would you like to look? <laughs> Would you like to look? I'll do the before and you do it after. Okay, before and after. This is what you can get with the device we discovered. No, oh, that how, how, how is there still a lump of something there? <laughs> I'm putting my skin so tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you could be with the chin curves, curves of youth, chin reducer beautifier. and beautifier. Reduces enlarged glandula glands. Gives the flesh the resiliency and freshness of youth. And this was uh, by a person called Professor Matt. You know what, if he just stuck two of those rollers on a stick, it would have a face roller. You just mime. Dispelling falsifinies of the neck and throat, restoring a t rounded contour to thin, narrowway necks and faces. So this is really similar to like all those kind of like the Asian double chin straps. But this one wants to round off your face. It was like, get rid of the, your no face, your, so, your, get rid of hers and get this. So they're basically saying, prevents double chin, Okay, but so it also rounds off your face. So they're claiming that it can make change the f shape of your face. So instead of giving you the modern day Instagram chin. Yes, we got it. It's got to be round. Round. I'll strap you into the rope blind and you'll see holy that your face is going to become nice and round. You got it. Thank, thanks to our arts and crafts <laughs> team. Department. Department. And fob, fob yourself away. <laughs> It you, looks really cute look with my at, dimples. Look at those dimples. And your, your slim nose, dimples, <laughs> chin beautifier. <laughs> you can literally see my chin going away. Yeah, then no, you can. It's literally coming out your back. <laughs> my gosh, you look like a starving cow. <laughs> wow. I think it worked. I think it, uh, yeah, you look, <laughs> yeah, you look about 50 years younger. Uh, my face does feel beautified yeah. and, and curved of youth. Uh, I don't know how to point my chin. <laughs> I look like one of those before and afters of like, when they say that kids shouldn't breathe through their mouth. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, I actually don't know 
how this, if this works, because it's still like a modern day thing. I did have a massage in Korea that did really slim down my face That's for about 48 hours. Drainage. Yeah. So maybe he was onto something. Yeah, but not quite there. It didn't, obviously didn't last, did it? She's stunning though. I, she looks yeah. like she's fresh off a coin. You know what? I don't see why this wouldn't give you a lymphatic drainage in that area mm. if, that, if that rolled. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like it would, I would buy that back in them days. What I can see it, it? people correcting people's posture as well and, and jaw. So they probably after just be like this. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on our scientific journey through time and space. Oh my God, panic. Oh look, my dimples are still there. Maybe it did work. We yeah, all look, we all look completely different. This is how we looked at the beginning. Yeah. That's how we look at Let us know what you think of these contraptions. If you would use them, come into our clinic. Come into our clinic, we'll inject you with something. We'll make you look young and pointy. Yeah. And we'll see you there. Bye.